day one of pre-season, how are you feeling? Tired, <laughs> very leggy. Um, yeah, no, it's tough, um, but it's got to be done. Um, same Similar stuff to what we've done last year at work. I thought we were a really fit group of lads. We, we really strong towards the end of the game, so if it's not uh, not broke, don't fix it type of uh, type of way. But yeah, it's, it's hard work and the lads have been great this morning. Quite surprising really. I thought it, you know, lads would be a lot more tired having, with the long layoff, but it shows obviously the lads have stuck to the programme. Uh, John gave us and uh, lads look really good and really strong. So tough but, but very good and great to see everyone and all the staff and players again obviously it's difficult circumstances but no, it's great to be back in and, and starting training obviously you talk about the difficult circumstances and the, the long layoff it's been something like four or five months since we last saw you how have you managed to stay fit because obviously looking at everybody today you're all in pretty good shape before you get back uh, how, how do you do that without playing football I just think it's your, your mentality and, and your motivation. You know, you know you're going to be coming back in for pre-season, so you can't. It's not like the olden days where players have come back, you know, heavy and overweight. And credit to the staff and, and John gave us a program to stick to, and um, they gave us a bit of rest because we obviously we knew that was probably going to be like our summer break. So well, obviously that's how it turned out. So uh, we had a bit of bit of a rest, but we had a program. Um, and then I just think speaking to most of the lads, most of the lads will be training by themselves and, and with mates in obviously small groups and stuff and keeping ticking over and a big part of it I think as well is you know football's what we've known every year for the past however many years you've been playing so to just completely switch off and not play and not keep fit it, you wouldn't I wouldn't have enjoyed that anyway so I think you'd do it just to get out the house and to keep fit and for something to do anyway because obviously it was tough times for for all industries but and we were no different so I think like I say credit to the staff and, and John for the for the programs and the runs he gave us and I think it's just down to your own own mentality and uh, and keeping fit and making sure you come back in, in the best shape you can. Since we uh, last saw you, obviously a few months ago now, you, we've been promoted, which is obviously great news. Congratulations! But also you signed a new contract. Was that an easy decision for you? Yeah, be very easy. Um, there was no no other place I wanted to play me football really. Um, this group, the staff, uh, obviously a huge club as we know, getting promoted. Um, ticked every box. Um, except location. No, one is no, yeah, I ticked every box. Um, you know, we had a great, great year last year. Uh, slightly disappointing that we couldn't finish the season off, and you now I have no doubt we would have got promoted anyway. Uh, I actually think we we would have went on to probably win the league with the fixtures, and if it was behind closed doors, I think that probably would have helped us with the way we play, and teams would have relied on getting an atmosphere and, and getting getting in our faces. And when that's taken out of it, then I, th I think we would have won won most games. Um, but yeah, you know, we'd be pleased with the outcome. Like I say, I think we definitely would have got promoted. And um, it's a no-brainer to, to sign a new contract. It's a no-brainer, and obviously, for anybody who watched you play last year, uh, I think they would agree that, that you absolutely earned that deal. But if we, if we look back to this time last summer, we've obviously spoken about it a lot, how you were feeling then. Uh, do you feel that now that we're back into League One, you're fit, your injury, injury issues are behind you, you can really go on and... Because you didn't get much of an opportunity to play in League One last time around with us. Is that, is that in your mind at all? Um, no, it's not, not really been on my mind to be honest. Um, I think now you've put it like that, possibly a little bit, but sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 not at all, not at all. Um, but I don't, I don't think I've got a I need to prove that I, I can play in, in League One. You know, it's just, I think fans from the outside would look in and say, well, he didn't play, is he not good enough? But at the end of the day, it's just the manager's decision to who he picks. Um, you know, I've played most of my games in the league higher than League One, so I don't feel like League One's gonna. You know, I can't play in League One type thing. Um, so no, I, I don't, I've not been thinking of that. You know, in, in the time off, I, I just like you say, I think one manager picked me, one manager didn't. That's you know, not everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Doesn't make me a bad player. Just I was the same player. And obviously, I've got more confidence now and stuff. But that's just that's just football. And uh, finally, kind of, um, it's obviously very different this season. You've had to train in two groups, you're not allowed very close to anybody else. Can you tell me a little bit of, sort of what that's like for you to, to having experienced all the pre-seasons you have to, to do one like this? Yeah, it's very strange, but I think it's the norm. I think every every club in the country will, be, will have to do similar sorts of things. Um, I think the staff have been put everything on for us as best they can so far. Um, but yeah, we, we have to come in in our kit, we can't go into the dressing room, the medical room's out of bounds, um, very limited with the, with the medical staff if anyone needs anything. You've got to take your bottle, your GPS vest home, you've got to go back and get a shower at home where usually, obviously, you just, you know, we've got a double session today and we've got to go back home, get a shower, get changed into the second kit, come back. Obviously, that's just 
bit strange. We've never had to do this before, but again, it's this thing's never happened in, in all our lives and probably never will again. So I think all industries are having to adapt and, like I say, credit to you, we're doing the best we can. And obviously it was announced over the weekend, uh, Friday, I think, that the season will start in September, 12th of September. You My birthday. Are you excited about that? your birthday? Yeah, so, uh, birthday. yeah. My birthday. Yeah, exactly. So hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have a good fixture. Um, hopefully the rules might change if we can get fans in the stadium by then. I know they said October, but... Hopefully that can be brought forward, and um, yeah, we look forward to the fixture list coming out. Some big clubs, you know, but so are we, you know, we're a big club, and we'll have a bit of momentum behind us. Obviously, we've had a bit more of a layoff, but I still feel there's a real camaraderie and togetherness at the club now, and the staff and the players and everyone is in a re really good spirit, and I'm looking forward to the season. Excited to to carry on, you know, where we left off, um, you know, with the way we play and how we do things, and really looking forward to the fixtures coming out and getting going, and 12th of September. Thank you.